What up? I'm back. It's the 25th of June. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, man. I just got through painting one, and um, I was listening to this song. Dude, and I've been, my emotions have been effed up, honestly, for a week. Probably more. Um, I don't know what it is, man. Like, I'll, I'll be good for a while, but then I just overall, like, just feel weird. And, um, maybe it's not, like, down in the press. I'm just fucking over it. Um, dude, all I want to do is paint. And, and like, and hell, I want to help people in paint. But the only thing that's keeping me alive right now is painting. Like, um, really, like, it's just so good, man. It's so fun. It's so... It's everything right now. It's everything. Like, I I can't explain it, man. It's like it's the only thing that matters. Um, I don't know, man. It's like the world just doesn't matter. Money doesn't matter. I'm, I'm so over it. I'm so over it. And it's so weird. I hate to say it. <sighs> I need, I mean, I just, I need to paint and help people. Like, that's the purpose. I think that's a lot of it. It's just, I'm, I'm coming to the end of the cycle and it's just a super emotional and I'm, it's getting real, realer and realer and realer that I have to jump off this cliff and there's no looking back. And, um, super frustrating to me. And it sucks because it's, it's almost like I'm building resentment towards um, work. But maybe not. Maybe after this week I'll be fine. Um, I just, I know I can't, I got to get to the point where it's mine. Whatever I do, it's mine. And I, I can't have other people involved um i can't i can have other people involved but it just has to be mine and i can't really explain it but it, it has to be my creation um and i have to reap the benefits completely from it and um or if i do get in a partnership with somebody it's true 50 50 everything and uh because i i've i've um a lot of it is Like, either A, it has to be super beneficial to me. Or I can't just be making people money. That just makes zero sense. That's, that's the end of, that's it. Like, because if I'm going to do it, and I'm going to spend my time, spend my knowledge, spend my body, like, it, I, I, I know my worth, and it's like, if it's not worth it to me, it's not worth it to me. And, um, art... Is worth it to me. Giving my time to humans is worth it to me. Um, making other people money is not. It just isn't anymore. It just makes zero sense to me. It makes zero sense. I have too much knowledge. I have too much power to be somebody else's uh, money maker. And uh, I think that's a lot of it. Um, that's a lot of it. And it's not. It's not anything on anybody. It's just I'm over it. Um, and I knew I was over it a while ago. I knew, you know, I knew if I stayed in what I'm doing, then I have to, um, I have to be all of it. Um, not some of it, all of it. Because I'm all of it already. And, um, it is what it is. But I'm only going to make pennies if people... Um, if I'm giving something away and I'm watching people grow, that's the only way I give pennies away. I want to make pennies. I don't know, whatever. This art saving me, dude. This art, granted to my point, the art is saving me. It's keeping me sane. It's keeping me alive. Um, it's keeping me happy. It's checking me out every day. And um, it's really the only thing that's keeping me, honestly, alive and sane. Like, if it wasn't for that, I would, I wouldn't care at all. 
it is just I just deem it so pointless right now and it sucks because I'm talking to a buddy and it's just like I don't know I'm just so close but I, I gotta have that complete life change and he said something about it he was like well yeah, you can't he's like you need a complete change and when, when he said that I was like yeah I need a complete change I've changed my mindset I've changed my body I've changed the way I think the way I do things I know my worth and now it's like I have to change my job I just have to at least for a little while um I just have to I have to change it all because I have to form a new way of life and I can't hold on to something that's ingrained so deep in in me and then change everything else. It doesn't work that way. And especially for me. Like I cannot just change some of it. I have to change everything. And um, I fought this battle the whole time because at first I was like, I know, at first I knew I needed to change everything. And then I kind of justified um, staying and um, not changing everything. And, um, and then it got me here, you know? Well, I gotta, I gotta just walk away from everything. And um, at least, I don't know, we'll reevaluate in a week. But um, <coughs> I just gotta, I gotta change, I think. Oh, I have to focus heavy, heavy, heavy on art and um, other stuff. I just have to. That has to be my priority because that's where I'm going to be in the future. And uh, like I said, if I walk back into this world or I hold on to just a little bit of it, um, that's one thing. But, um, and honestly, like, it'll, you know, I'll, I'll be able to, to veer off real hard soon. And, um, focus heavy on the art and spend some time building frames and stuff like that but I don't know the, the art tonight like it was so crazy like I I started painting and I wasn't gonna I wasn't even gonna talk man I was I was I just felt so weird so I, I came home and got home I don't know 8 30 and I was like I went to try and lay down for a minute and I laid down and I was like you know I can just go to sleep right now and then, then I was like no I, I need to I have to talk I can't not talk but the only way I'm gonna talk is if I go paint. I have to paint. And um, I just had to. Because otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to talk. Because I just, I just, my emotions are jacked up, man. And the, I don't know what it is. But, um, so whatever. So I started painting and um, I picked this song real quick. Honestly, I didn't really want to do it. But, uh, the radio. But I was like, this song sounds cool. I, mean, I don't even really know what it is. I heard it a couple days ago and added it to playlist. And, um, hell, just turned it on, put my headphones on, and just started painting. And, um, fun, dude. So fun. And, uh, I just, I don't even know what it is, like, I just, this, this is the song, so whatever comes with it, like, I paint, and it's so crazy, and then it's like, all these rows of colors, like, I don't know why, and then, like, one stage of the paint, like, I just took googly eyes, man, and, uh, there's me and this girl at the art place, um, we saw this painting one day, and it had googly eyes on us. I said, I love googly eyes. Like, they look so funny. And, um, so my painting, where, one stage, like, I, I start putting some googly eyes on my painting. Um, because there's so many faces in my painting that people don't see, and you won't be able to see them until they're in front of you. There's so many designs, there's so many whatever, and it kind of looked like fishes today. And it was this song, you know, there's nobody else, and, like, with all the rows of colors and all the different colors, like, you know, it just reminded me of, like, there's nobody else. It's just us on Earth. It's red, yellow, black, white, whatever, all these colors, you know. And, um, there's nobody else here. It's just us. 
And that's what this song, like, to me, I was running through stages of nobody else. You know, um, because it's all about people. Like, this world is about people and experiences. And that's such a big part of me. Like, even if right now I'm talking about art, 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 um, people is it too, man. Like, art is my thing. Art is for me. And, um, and it's, <clears throat> I don't get it, man. I don't get why I love it so much. I don't get why one song and one canvas and me putting paint on it just makes me so happy. Because I've just never felt like this. I've never had anything make me feel happy. Like, me flipping houses never made me feel happy. Ever. I've never been excited about it. I did it. Um, I wasn't mad or upset. But, like, I've just never built anything that I ever cared about. I never fix something that I was happy was fixed like I've never done a job that I even cared about really doing like I just I never have so for me painting is just something different like I don't even know how to explain it I don't know how to explain it other than like like if someone came to me and said Cody you shouldn't paint like I'm, I'm gonna fight you like, we're gonna brawl. Um, like, that's how much I love it. You know, like, I love it like I love people. Like, if you're with me and someone comes up to you, and then we're gonna brawl. And I've been like that since I was little. And um, that's how I feel about art. So I feel about art the way I feel about people and my people. So what's your mind? You're mine forever, bro. Like, and um, I'll go to the end of the world for you. I'm ride or die. I always have been and always will. It's a problem. Even if I don't talk to you, it still sucks. Um, I would still be there. But art, man, art is art is it for me, man. I I don't care if it's good. I don't care what people say. Dude, I love it. Dude, it's so fun. Dude, it changes this frown upside down. Like, I put googly eyes on the, the painting. I took them off, obviously. Um, Cause it's just not. I was like, no, nah, this is not the right one to put googly eyes on. Like, it, this is fun and it made me laugh and it changed my demeanor real quick. And, um, Cause even when I started painting, like I was still somber tones. Like I was making myself paint cause I love it. But I was making myself paint to try and change my attitude. And, um, and it worked, especially once I whipped out the googly eyes and uh, started shoving them in my painting. I was like, dude, this is hilarious. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is hilarious. If it was on the canvas, I would have done it. But it was on that metal stuff and it just doesn't, it's hard to see color on it sometimes. And my room is so dark and then my light battery was out. So, uh. But I was glad, whatever, it was fun and I had a good couple minutes and I was laughing and enjoying it because it looked hilarious. And uh, I mean, I gotta, gotta, I gotta put a million googly eyes in that thing, dude. Like a million. I, w I wouldn't even have had enough googly eyes. Like why does Cody, have googly eyes in his bedroom because they're funny because <laughs> they're hilarious and um it's funny but whatever but yeah this painting was crazy man and then like i don't even know what i did after that like i have to look at the video and um i put some more colors on it and then like i was standing there and then just the direction i was standing like I had to do it and I, so I did what I did on the art and I was like this you know and for a moment in time through the whole process like then I really got what the song was saying I was standing there fixing to finish my painting and I was done 
Um, and I was thinking, like, what else can I put in this painting? And this song, it's like, there's nobody else. There's nobody else. And I'm like, dude, why is this music so perfect? I don't understand. Like, I'm dealing with shit. And then I picked the perfect song. I didn't even know it was the perfect song literally until right now. Until I even get to talk about the experience that I just created. And I'm painting and I feel like shit. I put googly eyes. It makes me happy. Eyes are looking back at me. Googly eyes are looking back at me. In this song, this is nobody else. I had a can, whatever, and then I made the painting, and it's perfect, and it looks, whatever. It's not super, whatever, fancy. It's not super technical. It's just quick, boom, boom. Like that's it. Fuck it. I'm done. fun <laughs> it was fun and it, it's exactly that there's nobody else but me and that's what this life is about there's nobody else but you fill that cup make yourself happy give yourself time you will be up you will be down you'll have hardships you'll have this you know like I said and that's kind of what I'm going through is like Just trying to integrate back with the world. And I hate it so much. I gotta be more specific about what I'm saying, cause like, whatever. My subconscious picks it up, but I, I can't I don't know any other way. Like I've changed everything else. I'm happy. I'm excited. I love life. But I love life like I love life. I gotta fix a lot of stuff materialistically. But the rest of my life is good. Like, that's what's so crazy. Because the only thing that's holding me back is like the materialistic world. The only thing that's causing me any kind of troubles or sorrows really is the materialistic world. And that's frustrating to me. It's super frustrating to me. I don't know how to integrate back in. Like, I, it's so crazy because I can look at a human and I can justify everything that they do. But then when I look at the world system, like, I, I can't justify it. Like, I understand why they did it, what, why it's been built this way, but it just makes zero sense. I don't know if it's just because it's not attached to an entity and it's just like a free-flowing system that's been integrated with rules and regulations and I'm just against it completely or what? Well, it means I have to sacrifice my time for this and it's like I got to find this balance and um, it makes me physically sick to my stomach. And, um, it makes me mad. It makes me angry. And it makes me want to run away. <clears throat> because in my head, Running away is better than me getting mad and angry. Because I have too much power and uh, I don't like to be angry. <clears throat> and I don't. Um, and it's good I'm not around people because um, they wouldn't bother me, but it's like I just would. Old Cody is old Cody and. Um, 
I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. <laughs> but whatever, man. It, it's cool. And um, painting just saves me, man. Painting just helps me. Um, I can't explain it. I mean, painting and music, like... Now, both of them are my buddies, my companions. And um, there's nobody else. It's just me. And that's fine. Because it's not supposed to be. I mean, you're supposed to find everything on your own. And um, it's just, I'm just tired. <clears throat> I'm tired of it. It's been a rough road, man. It's been so fucking rough. But it all work out in the end. Tomorrow's a new day. Same old crap. Just a new day. I just gotta make it through this week. <laughs> I just gotta get away from something and be done with it. It's so frustrating to me, man. It's frustrating just doing everything. That's what I gotta get away from. <clears throat> it's just doing everything, I think. Because it's just too, it's too long. Because it, like I said, it's one thing if I do a job and it takes me a day or two days. Like, that's long enough for me. But like, big jobs, I, just, I can't do them. Not by myself, I can't do them. <clears throat> They're very frustrating to me. I mean, I guess I do have ADHD or whatever that is, which I don't really think it's a real thing. I think it's just, <clears throat> I don't have focus uh, for long things. Um, and I think that's what a lot of it is. It's just some type of willpower thing that I got to work on and um, focus, to be honest with you. <clears throat> like, I'm not chemically imbalanced. It's just um, this world has programmed us for our, to have instant gratification, that's it, you know, so on the big scale, my problem is just instant gratification, and that's why I do cycles, that's why I don't like to do things long periods of time, because it's about instant gratification, so I gotta fix that problem, and which is talk, talking is, is, is this, talking's helping me um, understand that it's not instant gratification like it's a long process and I'm, yeah, and, and I'm frustrated you hear me frustrated I'm frustrated I'm frustrated with long term change like, like when I change something I want to change it now like I'm ball to the wall like let's do this and um and that's why like I said that's why I know I need to move because I need a new energy, I need new space, I need new this, so I can start new with everything. So I can form new habits. With this new mindset. And make them long-term investments. And build routines that make sense. And have structure. I gotta have structure. And the only structure I have now is like talking. And it's just like trying to break the habit of not having structure is, is difficult. Um, but it's just, it's my mindset. I gotta do it. I just have to do it. No excuses. And there's this song. It's like nobody else is going to make me do any of this stuff. It's me. I have to change it on my own. That sucks, man. Another pride and ego. I need to check my... Pack around. I hit hard today. 
But uh, whatever, man. It's um. Yeah. So this is why I have to talk. This is why the pain. This is why this song came. Because nobody else but me that has to f- change the rest of these things. Nobody else but me that has to become disciplined. Nobody else but me can change my life but me. Man, that's frustrating, bro. Nobody else can fix this. Nobody else can fix that but me. Yeah. Doesn't matter to disappear. But to disappear for like five months now. Just get strict as hell. I can change the I can change money quick. Or my brain and my habits, like that stuff. That was I I mean a year and a half was a lot, but I had to do it because it's a lot to change. 35 years of programming that I had to change. We're just changing sleeping habits and changing work habits is easy. I just have to sit down and map it out and then stick to it. And um start being strict about what I do every day and dedicate time for work, dedicate time for art, dedicate time for talking, dedicate time for working out, um, and dedicate food. How I'm going to do that, I need to figure out what I'm going to eat if I'm going straight vegetables and fruit. Whatever, man. It'll be fun. I'll make it fun. And that's it. I mean, I feel kind of bad because I haven't been eating like I, I used to. And um, eating like in the sense of like a celebration. like. But that's what I said. I knew it was going to only be for a season. And I knew it was going to be fun. And um, But I think I'm, I may just have to do it. I have to. That's what sucks. is like when I'm out on a job, it's, I can't. It's different. Like I, I don't feel... Like special, I don't feel like special time, like it's weird, so it's, I just got to trick myself and, and mess up this state, play this game with myself, how to make things fun. I've got a weird energy on me right now, and it's, um, uh, Dude, it's, it's a frustration energy. Almost like a little kid that's getting agitated and like, <clears throat> like, the only answer is like to punch something. <laughs> What's wrong with me? But that's part of bringing the old Cody back, like, Cause now I just have to manage it, and I can manage it. I have power over him. I have control over him. And like I said, I'll walk back in there, and I'll look at my painting, and I'll be like, that was so fun, and I'm so excited about it, and I'm happy, and um... Honestly, it's kind of like my runaway child thing that I've painted, and um... When I painted that, man, I remember, dude, I was having a freaking blast, bro. Like, it, number one, that song is ridiculous for me, and I love it. And, um, when I was painting that, dude, I was having so much fun. And, uh, that honestly was, like, one of the first things that I was super proud of ever in my life. And, um, I mean, my little brother bought two paintings from me, and he was like, uh, is that, I want, I want that one. <laughs> I was like, nah. I, well, he didn't push it hard. But he's like, I know you're not going to sell that one. I didn't really say anything. But, um, that one's my favorite. And, um, this one's kind of cool, too. Like, 
makes me happy, man. Art just makes me happy. It's like I, I don't see, I, there's no, I don't, there's no world when I'm not painting. There's no world. Like, and, and then now I understand, like, starving artists, like, because, like, once you get bit by that bug, like, once you fall in love with a, the process, once you fall in love with the production, like, and the experience, like, dude, there's, it's a drug. It's like there's nothing. Like there's no way you could do anything other than this. Like why would you want to? You know, I guess that's what, what it's like. Just you get new stuff and you start, you love it, you fall in love and you just, you're hooked. But for me, a lot of it is like, it's a representation of my progress in life. Of not loving anything. Like, I mean, I used to love the fish. I used to like the fish a lot in the um, quiet time and just sit there by myself and just fish with, you know, anticipation of, know of never knowing when you're gonna catch that fish. Like, you just never know. You know, but you still have to try and over and over and over again for hours and just, it's worth it. You know, you never know, cause you never know next cast what you're gonna catch. Like, that's why fishing is so fun uh, for me, you know. And even if we have electronics, like, <clears throat> we don't have like fancy ones, we're just whatever, we just fish, you know. And, um, it's that anticip, anticip, whatever anticipating the bite like you just never know man like we'd go fishing at night and like I haven't been fishing probably in a year but um like you'll be out there all night and you're fixing to go home and you cast one more and you catch a fish and then you're out there four more hours you know like it's so crazy but art for me it's just like it's so fun There's nobody else. Nobody else for me. And every day is crazy, man. Every day I don't know what's gonna happen. Every day, you know, I do enjoy like living, um, in the now and a free. So I gotta figure out a way to incorporate that too. Because that's that's the only worried thing I get worried about is by like if I start working a lot crazy like I used to, then I'm just gonna fall right back into the old habits, you know. And um, yeah, my mind's different, but I understand me, and I understand like muscle memory, and I understand like if you put yourself in the same situations over and over again, you're just gonna fall right back into the same crap. And um, I can't go back. It's pointless to me. Like I said, if I'm gonna go back to the old Cody, I just might as well quit right now. Whatever, man, today was fun. I'm trying to think. We need some rain. We need some rain bad. Out here, getting dry. It's getting dry, but I don't know, man. I'm still frustrated, I guess. But it'll, I'm over it. Whatever, screw it. It all work out. I'm go inside, post my video, and, and go to sleep, and then. Um, Tomorrow's a new day. 
and there's nobody else but me. And it's always been that way, and um, it won't always be that way, but... But there'll be no one else who can fill my cup, I'll tell you that. Everything else will be extra. And like I said, dude, I'm still excited about the future. I'm excited about somebody. I'm excited about whatever and whatever. And that is, that's, 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 that's kind of like, that's why I have to get like um, structured. I know I do because if I'm going to implement somebody else in my life, then that we have to be structured. We can't just be freely, you know, living life. Like it's, um, it's probably not going to work. Because we're going to have to blend two lives together and um, compromise lots of, which is fine. I'm cool with that. Um, but we'll see. Like, I just got to get, I got to get, I don't know. I got to figure out how to build in working, I guess, or something. Or start selling my art. I have to start selling my art and that'd be fine. I got way too much art in there already. My stuff is, I don't know, my stuff is fun. I have fun. I love it. And it's all of me. And, um, it's straight abstract, man. I don't care. Like, that's why I don't, you know, and I've seen a lot of abstract stuff and it's, my stuff is so different, I don't get it. Like, everybody other stuff, is they got squares and triangles and, like, shapes in it. And, like, mine don't have shapes, man. Even though, like, like I said, this world, it's nothing but shapes. It's like, but I see blurry stuff. Mine's like a big blur of mix, a melting pot of just everything. I don't even want to do shapes and stuff. I don't know. I just keep doing me. I should keep doing me, man. It will all work out in the end. <laughs> Dude, it's so fun, though. I listen. I could just. I picture me standing there putting googly eyes and uh, just laughing. Just laughing. Googly eyes, dude. And this painting was cool, and um, it's just different now. It just made it like it connected the song, it connected me, it connected the moment, it kept it connected my consciousness. Like everything is in me, everything is because of me. Everything I want is in here, and I can do anything I want to do. I just have to put put the work in and it's mine I'm worthy of anything I want now I gotta figure out what it is I want and then go for it and get it and in doing so you gotta sacrifice time for that want but I don't know I just need to get a notebook a new one fresh start I'm gonna start being serious about this and that <sighs> but whatever I don't know I have no idea So that was cool, man. Whatever. Couldn't help the buddy tonight, this afternoon. I'm just saying the week ahead will be whatever it is, and um, every moment I'm alive, I'm grateful. So that's I can just live on that. You know, you think like live on a prayer song, like you're just. I'm grateful that I'm alive. 
I'm grateful that I get to experience this stuff. I'm grateful that I've gone through a transformation and transformed multiple times. And even if right now it feels like it does, even if I'm frustrated, kind of, even if I'm extremely tired, um, it's fine, man. It will all work out in the end. And there's really no other way except up from here where I'm at. Like, I'm at the lowest. I'm at the lowest spot. Like, I had to, I had to get beat down completely. Um, and like I said, even though the majority of the time I'm happy, and I am happy, like, I was catching myself today, like, driving, like, and kind of like in a somber mood, but like, I still... Which is, I was still just driving grinning. Like, even though, like, like, I couldn't stop grinning, even though I felt like the way I felt. And it was weird to me, because it was like, my body was telling me, everything is fine. Like, my physical body is saying, like, Smile, grin, it's funny. Enjoy life. It's not that bad right now. But my mind and my emotions were kind of, ugh, you know, just like, ugh. But like I said, like I was just, I was just driving, like listening to music and like, just be grinning. And uh, it's so weird. It's so weird, I went to, uh, I went somewhere and the girl was like, you're dark. I was like, what do you mean? And uh, I pulled up my shorts and my, you know, I'm pretty light, light. But she said, my left leg is darker than my right leg, but I hang my left leg out the window all day when I'm driving. And I didn't notice it, but evidently my left leg is a lot darker than my right leg. Um, but whatever. Dude, I do get dark. I do get dark. I got that dark chocolate, that peanut butter, and that mocha. So, it just depends. It's funny. I've been like this my whole life. I started to let my hair grow out. We'll see what it does. We'll see what happens. See how long it lasts. It's not that bad right now. Or just whatever. I don't know. I'm just changing stuff, doing stuff, having fun, just enjoying life, not caring about certain things and caring about other things, and just um, I don't know. All I do know is I need to find balance between the real world and my new world. That's I think my next biggest goal is um, implement everything that I've learned. Implement everything I've become and then integrate back into the world and figure out how to make it work. Figure out how to make money again. And uh, this time do it right and uh, make as much as I want. And, um, and I deserve to have as much as I want. I'm worthy of as much money as I want. I'm worthy of being wealthy. I'm it's okay for me to have money. It's okay for me to have nice things. Like I said, that's probably the hardest battle out of all of this. And I think that's kind of why I'm still hung up on the world. Like, um, because I'm still trying, I'm still, even though I know I am, even though I got tattoos on me now that say I'm worthy and enough, even though I understand my worth and I know I'm enough, it's now it's just like trying to not self-sabotage myself in that. And trying to overcome the fear still. There's probably still some fear. There shouldn't be. I'm not really afraid in my mind. But maybe I need to shake some loose stuff in my body about it. Um, about being successful. And about, you know, having money. And not having to worry about it. And having nice stuff. And, uh, and I, I know that's a fact. I, I just... You know, and that could be some of 
why I'm do what, doing the stuff that I do now and, and not out there working all the time. Um, and I just need to change my mindset and just go get it. And it's okay. And I don't have to explain myself to nobody. And um, nobody else but me. <laughs> That's why this song is so crazy. That's why it, it makes me laugh, like, now. Because I was pouting. Started painting. Picked this song. And then now it's like, damn, dude. Like, this song was perfect. This song was exactly what I needed. This song explains it all. This song is an ego battle for me. It applied an ego check for me. Because there's nobody else. Nobody else. It's all up to me. It's all what I want. And I can have anything I want. I just gotta go get it. Uh, accept it. Be willing to accept it when it comes here. I got two options tomorrow on what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I may take the ladder a little bit easier and then um, just from Monday on just disappear completely and um, just do some stuff that I, I really wanna do. I just need to start making myself say that. I want to do it. I do want to do it because I want to get it done. And um, then I can freaking breathe, bro. Uh, and then that will be it. That will be the last thing um, from my past that I have to deal with. And so I, I know I have to do that because once I hit that avenue, that road, and that's done, boom. Like, that's the point. I just got to get there and get done. So I got to do whatever it takes, work. 24 hours <sighs> need some inspiration really need some inspiration that is weird right now because I don't have a lot of inspiration And when I look at my life, I've not really had inspiration. Ever. Like, I've never um, been able to find, like, inspiration before. Um, like, I have inspiration to do art, but I don't even know what I have inspiration to do other than I just love it. Um, so I gotta look at that. I gotta look at, like, what inspiration number one is. Um... And then find it. Like find the inspiration within myself. I don't know. But whatever. It'll all work out. It's fine. It's super fun. The crickets are tripping. You got people shooting fireworks. And this time last year, man, that's weird. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know, man. This world's crazy. The things are changing so quick. And I'm trying to think, like, what, what could I change now in my life? Like, what, like, what is beneficial to me? I 
other than like just make sure I stay eating healthy, make sure I work out, make sure I do art because art is super beneficial to me. Um, and I guess the rest is just work. I guess the rest is just work. I don't know. But I just don't understand. I guess I gotta look into it. But it's like... That's what I'm saying. I mean, maybe I just need to go get a steady job somewhere and just... I just hate signing on for that. Like, I, I just hate signing on that like I'm just not that type of dude anymore I've never really been that type of guy um, I don't know I just gotta I gotta structure my life that's all I gotta do and whether it's like maybe I just need to work you know so many hours a day and that's it like and um and end the discussion like whatever happens happens like and maybe do less I mean, the issue is it's not going to be a problem in, in the future for me, but it's just until I get to that point. So maybe I just do, I just got to do what I have to do right now because I know that end is soon where I don't have to do that anymore. Um, and I'll have whatever I need. Not even worry about it ever again. Like it will never be an issue. So maybe that's it. Maybe I just got to make it to the end and then whatever the end is and then I'm good forever and I won't ever have to worry about it again. So I don't know why I'm sweating it now because I know whatever it is, it's only temporary and um, all my needs will be met in the future. Um, it's me not even doing anything. And then I'll truly be able to reevaluate things and um, truly be able to build things and truly be able to spend my time freely with other humans and um, really make an impact, a big one. Which is probably better. Like maybe I should just like make a goal to like I just gotta make it to this date. And then I'll reevaluate again. And just I just make it to that one. And reevaluate again. And do it in small increments where I'm kinda tricking myself to like yeah, I'm just creating my own cycles again. And um, then I just reevaluate every time I get to that cycle. And then I can change stuff out throughout my cycle and um, say if I need to do this more, need to do this last. Um and just be strict as balls and just um just make it a game the only thing is like I've never really had a reward system so it's like I gotta figure out how to I don't think reward systems work for me so I don't understand like I don't know what how I trick myself into it yet cause I um I don't know. That's something I gotta, gotta plan out. But everything is in me. Everything I need is in me. So I technically don't need anyone else. So like the structure that I need is in me. 
The willpower and dedication is in me. I just have to get it out. Because like I said, I, I mean, I used to have it when I was in school, working all the time. Like, I had to have willpower and I had to have dedication to continue to do all those things and not sleep and do this and that. Like, So I'm capable of doing it. I just have to set goals. And then get to them. So I just need to set goals. I need to make a journal or vision board or something and set real goals. And stick to them and all this stuff, fun stuff. Get to bed early. Even though it's latest crap right now. I gotta I think I gotta I don't know how long that painting is, so but whatever, this is good. This is for me. Everything I need is in me. This talk is a little weird and different than the usual ones. Um, Pride and ego check time and get on the ball. Everything I need is in me. Nobody else can do it for me. It's all up to me. And I'm worthy of everything. And I accept everything. I'm willing to receive anything. I'm worthy of being wealthy. I am wealthy. I'm healthy. I'm abundant. I am hope. I am light. I'm dark. I'm power. I am pain. I'm hope. I'm all these things I got tattooed on me. I'm everything. I'm anything. I'm a king of my own world. And it's coming. Everything I need. And I love art so much. I will do that until I cannot do it no more. Cause it's fun, dude. I love it. It's so much fun. It's so fun to me. It's probably, yeah, I don't, it's, it's hilarious and fun. And then I gotta take care of this vessel and I gotta eat right. And I gotta make sure and probably start running or rowing more. <sighs> Get rid of this belly fat. Love handles. That's what I'm saying, dude. I'm strong. Like, I'm so much stronger. Um, dude, it's weird. I'm doing stuff that I couldn't do. I'm doing stuff that I used to do when I was 18. Like, pressing up from the ground all the way up to handstand. Like, stuff that I couldn't do for the longest time, but I could do it like whatever. I mean, I could probably hang straight out from a pole right now, uh, which is stuff I used to be able to do when I was little. And I was all, all, always been thick. Like I've never been, like I said, I've never been super veiny. I've just been a thick and stout. And um, like I said, I don't know. Lose that belly fat and chest fat. I'm good. Be perfect. Maybe start running. Now that I don't have a lot of, a whole bunch of extra weight. I mean, I still got some, but it's not as bad on my joints. Um. I 
you know, do yoga and stuff. Yoga's fun, dude. Hot yoga's fun. Um, and I'll get back to that in a week. Um, I said had time last week and then this week. Um, but I'm trying to like level out what I'm doing in life and um, trying to get out of cycles that I did create and then try and create new cycles again and then um, become disciplined and stuff and start routine. I need to have a routine. Um, I guess just, but without work, without working like crazy, like it's hard for me to have a routine. I just figured out one issue. I need to get paid regularly. I think that would help me with my routine. Because before, like, I would get paid like every couple months, and um, I think that's an issue. So I need to get, make sure I start getting paid like regularly. Um, it would just help me with my mindset. Well, that's fine, because that's my fault. That's the way I created my business. Um, so yeah, I mean, maybe I just need to see more things on the schedule. Like, I need everything to be on a schedule. My money needs to be on a schedule. Like, everything has to be on a schedule, I guess. Because if some of it's not on a schedule, it's going to throw off the whole schedule. And so maybe that's, that's a lot of why my life is the way it is. So I gotta figure that stuff out. Start getting on a schedule and have things tangible. So that's what I'm saying. Like I said, maybe I need to go work somewhere or go do something that's on a schedule where I get paid, you know, every two weeks. Um, Cause it, dude, it's been a long time since I've, dude, it's been since like I was 19. 19 or 20, I don't know, probably Lowe's was the last time that I worked. Well, when I was plumbing, I got paid every week, I guess, but, um, I don't know, just something where I know what I'm getting every week, and, um, I don't know, which I guess it doesn't matter. I just, I just need to get on the schedule. That's what I'm saying. That's what's weird. It's like my whole life is just in weird chaos, random, and um, so it's really hard to get in routines if like your life is random, if your money is random, if your money is different every time, and um, it's so weird to try because you can never plan. Because you can never plan like what's going on, like what you're gonna have there. Like maybe I could plan some of it, like my grass cutting business, but. But then I couldn't plan the rest. Like, and so it's like sporadic and um, depends on the weather, depends on a lot of things. Like, um, so I just need to like lock that stuff down and make it routine. Everything is routine. What I eat every day from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep, to when I paint, to when I talk, just routine, routine, routine. And maybe I can have just a window of like from five down or six o'clock down is my time. And um, I can have randomness in that, but I need to be in bed by a certain time or something, you know, like. So I can have five hours of random anything I want to do time. And I have three things that I have to get done in that amount of time. And I can do it in any order or whatever. And that's probably it. That's probably, like I said, I. I kind of planned it out earlier where like I'm still gonna have to have like live by the seat of your pants time and then I'm gonna have to have structured time always and then I'll have the best of both worlds I guess and it will still be structured Then I'll be able to plan things 
and and then I can start planning things like on purpose, like plan this and plan that just to keep up with you know the excitement and I don't know how that works, but whatever. But I think I'm done. I'm tired. I feel better. The pain helped me a lot, dude. I'm excited about this one. This one was fun. Um, this this painting was fun for me. It was so fun, and it was it, it was kind of emotionally like weird emotions in the beginning, then excitement. Like Google guys made me laugh, and then changed my demeanor, and then I took you know I took it back, I took all the googly eyes off, and then did something else. Like it's fun, you know, and that's kind of like a, my days. Sometimes like some days I'm good, and then some days I'm not, and then I'm happy, but then I end up happy. So like it's like it's just life to me sometimes. Like just a one hour window is like a reflection of my day sometimes with the emotions, the ups and downs. But yeah, at the end of the time, I'm still excited and happy about it. I'm so blessed to be alive. I'm so gracious that I paint it, that I can paint, that it's fun for me, that I get excitement and joy out of it, and that I'm proud of it. And there's nobody else. There's nobody else but me. I guess I gotta start getting stripped. Which means I gotta get off here and go to bed. A holla. Love y'all. Peace.